Okay, Tom, what do we have here? Well, let me start off, Dave. What it is, is it's actually a barn find. You know, that's a, that's a rare thing when we come up with a woody that's been found in a barn. But uh, back in 1948, when this was actually first purchased, it was purchased by an iron ore company in, in Michigan. And um, they used it to drive out into the fields and, and check on the employees. Uh, and so it really didn't get a whole lot of, a lot of mileage on it as it was out there in the fields. And then in 1958, uh, the company went out of business and this went up for auction. Um, when it went up for auction, an un, unnamed source, and I don't know who it is, actually purchased it and then they put it into storage along with his other cars that he had in the barn. And it sat there until 1994 when a fellow by the name of Bruce Moffat came along. And he was looking for a certain car and he showed up at the barn and and uh, the owner opened up the barn doors and sure enough this was sitting back in the far corner and it wasn't the car that Bruce came looking for but he saw so much potential in it and so he ended up purchasing the car and it is a 1948 Plymouth uh, it's all original the wood is completely original and as I mentioned it was owned by an, an uh, iron ore company and they had painted the wood completely red uh, that was their logo colors that they used for all of their letterheads and business cards in the day. And so, I mean, foolish as it, as it is, in the end it turned out that it was very wise to do that. Um, being that it was all painted red, when Bruce saw the car, he said, geez, I can get this thing home, get it stripped down, and we're going to have an original, original wood on it. So he got the car, he purchased the car, even though it wasn't the one he was looking for, brought it back, and again, this was about 1994. Um, he sandblasted the red paint off of it, and sure enough, perfect wood underneath it. So he decided this was going to be a project car for him. He completely rebuilt the car. Uh, the engine's been completely redone. Uh, he added a little hot rod to it by going with the teal color, which is uh, very nice, and it's something that I've, I've, I like a lot. Um, and along with that, he split the exhaust to give it a little hot rod going on. Uh, but the, the engine itself is still the original engine. And it's a flathead six? It's a flathead six. Uh, is, it a, is it a three speed or? It's a three speed on the column um, and, and it's completely redone. Uh, uh, okay, super. Well, let's take, I'll stop this for a second and we'll take a peek at the interior. Okay. What about this interior, Tom? Okay, well, first of all, the car does have the original 50,000 miles on it. And I don't think I mentioned, but it was rebuilt at 43,000 miles. And then uh, I got it, picked it up at about 44,000 miles. Um, it's got your typical Bakelite knobs that were typical of the era. Um, it's got a matching teal carpet, which matches the outside paint. And then uh, the piping around the seats all have the, the teal color on it got the original heater in it, which was an option at the time. Um, and then in the back, it's got the original spare tire, uh, which is very interesting. The way they mounted Plymouth was using it as a marketing uh, technique to sell it to women. And they figured that if they didn't mount it on the rear, like most of the Fords did at that time, uh, this would make it more of a, uh, a, com a family car as opposed to a utilitarian car. Awesome. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Um, all the gauges work. Uh, everything, you know, works perfectly fine on it. Um, I've had years, you know, six, seven years of enjoyment out of this now. Uh, or I should say 14. 14 years. Um, and I think I mentioned that I am the third owner of the car. Uh, the first owner would be the mining company. The second owner was Bruce Moffat, who redid the entire car. And then when I took it over, that made me the third legal owner of the car. It, Super. Let's pop the, uh, the back of the bit. Okay. The car does come with uh, several optional pieces that I do have with it. It has a custom California car cover on it, and it has a custom bra for the front. Um, it has all the original uh, documents to it, the original registration. It has the original uh, uh, brochure that came with the car. Um, it, it's won dozens of trophies, and I, I have all those trophies. Those will also go with it. 
I have photos of the complete restoration. Um, it's been featured in several different uh, uh, ads. It was in a J.C. Penney's ad. It was in a Norm Thompson ad. Uh, it's been featured in the Woody Times. I have all of those those magazines that'll go along with it, uh, that you know document what's taken place on it. Uh, it was also used in a Jan and Dean comeback uh, musical tour, uh, and they had this sitting out front of their their concert so that people could enjoy it. Awesome. Has a lighted hood ornament too, really? uh, and I forgot to mention that. Um, and then and then we also have custom glass uh, in the rear. It's been etched into it, uh, which is, you know, very, very nice. Um, I think I, that pretty much covers the whole thing. It's going to come with the Aloha Rincon racks, which are the surfboard racks on the top, mm -hmm. and they've been redone to match the paint, uh, and that was pretty standard back in the 60s for the surfers to throw those racks up there, and if you ever get a surfboard to throw on top, uh, that would be perfect, a uh, perfect fit for that. Well, super. I think I'm just going to shut this off for a second. We'll check out the engine. Okay. And this engine was rebuilt when about? The engine was rebuilt in 1994, and then I purchased the car in 1998. Um, it's a flathead six. It has been converted to the you know ordinary 12 volt system from the six volt. Um, but other than that, the engine is just a rebuilt engine, and it's all it's going to be your standard equipment. Uh, you know, all stock. Okay, well, super. I'll shut this on. We'll fire it up. Okay, fire it up. Super Tom.